You can slide on into a little fun here at the playground and bring your kids. Hey, I'm Jake McAfee, real estate agent here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and I'm coming to you from Fort Wayne's newest toy, Promenade Park. Right now I'm coming to you from the Kids Canal. In the summer, this is full of water. You'll see kids running, playing, splashing around in the water. It's a great time for the whole family. In the summer, you'll be able to play foosball, cornhole. They even have on-site ping pong table here for people to enjoy. We have an amphitheater here right by the water where we'll have live music, usually all summer long. Oh, hey there. For those of you just looking to relax a little bit, the swings are a great place to unwind. <laughs> For those of you looking to escape the cold in the winter or the heat in the summer, Trouble Brewing actually has a second location here where you can get a cold brew. Behind me you see the Well Street Bridge. This is actually Fort Wayne's oldest bridge above the rivers. It's a great spot to shoot uh, photos, family photos, and really popular with weddings as well. Fort Wayne has three rivers that meet right in the heart of downtown. Can you name them all? I'll give you a few seconds to think. The three rivers are the St. Joe, the Maumee, and the St. Mary's. So right now we're on the treetop canopy trail. This is great for just getting a little exercise, something different, and it sits up, and as you can see behind me, beautiful shots of downtown Fort Wayne. The city's been very adamant about making sure that everything they do, all their investments, has something for everyone. And the park kind of keeps with that theme. It's great for bringing the kids, letting them run out some energy here while you're downtown. In the summer, we have boat tours that dock here. Uh, the city's boat is known as Sweet Breeze, but there's different companies that do it. You can take boat tours up and down the rivers all summer long. So by now, you're probably asking yourself, but Jake, the water's so dirty, is the city doing anything to fix it? Great question, Michael. Thanks for asking. You got a great head of hair, by the way. The city has already approved and is underway with its biggest project in its history. Uh, it's known as Mama Joe. Mama Joe is named after the St. Mary's, the Maumee, and the St. Joe River. And it's a 400 foot long, 20 foot in diameter tunnel boring machine. They're gonna bore a tunnel 200 feet beneath the earth's surface right into the bedrock it's going to be five miles long and what that's going to do is help with overflow so when it rains a lot of times the sewer systems get backed up and that overflow runs into the rivers causing what you see right now so once that's all in completion which they're estimating is going to be uh, done by 2021 and functional by 2023 it should take care of all that problem Right now where we're located, this is the hub for Fort Wayne Outfitter. You can actually rent kayaks yourself and take them out on the water. So despite the unique opportunity that these rivers present here in Fort Wayne, they were neglected for many years. As the trend became, people moved further and further out into the suburbs. Well, around the early 2000s, people started to realize what they were missing out on. And in 2015, Mayor Tom Henry formed the River Implementation Committee and City Council approved the $6 million redevelopment plan. And as you see, this is a result. So there's gonna be three phases here to the riverfront development. Promenade is only representing phase one. Phase two is gonna take place behind me and is gonna to extend to the MLK Junior Bridge. Uh, it's gonna have a lot of different options. There's gonna be an extension of the treetop canopy trail here that we see. There's gonna be a terrace lawn amphitheater. Uh, there's gonna be some short-term boat and kayak docking. And the focus is gonna be uh, spurring private investment. So you're gonna see maybe some boutique hotels, some restaurants, and some retail. So a lot of great things to come here in phases two and three. 
Phase three is gonna take place behind me and is gonna expand out west from phases one and two. Uh, it's gonna be more recreation centered, so there's gonna be basketball courts, uh, an open lawn area that's gonna be used for sledding in the winter, and a wetland boardwalk. <laughs> 